One dad named Chad Milner recently spoke out in Madame Noir about a post that he put up about a fear he had for his three-year-old daughter, Sydney, being the only black girl on her soccer team. Chad wrote, as a black man, I can't help but think about race most places I go. I can't help to think about people seeing me first as a person of color and whatever negative connotations come along with that, strictly based on stereotypes. While I am okay with this, for the most part, I don't want people to do that to my daughter. It's a terrible feeling for anyone to feel judged, left out, or uncomfortable in a group because of who they are. I feel that um, hmm. she's three years old, mm -hmm. and when they're that young, they don't know about race yet. And mm -hmm. I think he doesn't need to, to put that... He doesn't need to worry about it as yet. But also... Um, there is conversation in this country about how race is treated, and I agree there are some problems. But let me, I can speak for me. I've been black all my life, right? Good <laughs> <you>. Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> it ain't so. <laughs> I didn't realize and how you... I'm used to, you know, being a minority. I mean, mm -hmm. I, li I work in an industry where this is the first show where we have all women of color. But most of the time... <laughs> yeah. But most of the time, when I go into a meeting, I know I'm going to be the only black person. You know what was really funny is when I go, like, to the Emmy parties. Yeah. yeah. And you know it's only about 12 black people <laughs> out of a sea of other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when you see that one black person, you know, yeah, I... you give them that black nod, you're like... <laughs> I see you, girl. <laughs> you know what? You know... I did that. It was Omar Epps. It was Omar Epps, the actor. <laughs> we were at some NBC had... event, and I saw him, and I was like... Oh. <laughs> and he had... was like... And we don't know each <laughs> other, but it's just... So I guess what I was trying to just say is that, for me, mm -hmm. I don't let it worry me. I don't make that a part of me. I don't yes. walk into a room and go, I'm the only black. They're going to yeah. think, yeah. think right. I'm country, right. or they're going to yeah. think I'm ghetto. I don't yeah. care about that. I'm going to be me no matter who so, I yeah. am. I don't know. I, I kind of had that experience, but it was, it was quite different because when my sister and I went to high school, there weren't many children of mixed race, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. It's just now become a thing where a lot of people are mixing and it's, it's, it's more normalized. Mm -hmm. So I always had the fear of being accepted. Um, you, you hear a lot of mixed people go, oh, well, maybe I'm not black enough, mm -hmm. or maybe I'm not, I'm not white enough. But just like you, I stopped let, letting people define who I am. Right. Yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to focus on what they think of me. I'm going to think of myself and try to be the best version of myself and try to set yeah. a positive example. Yeah. And then after that, people don't even, you yes. know, they... they they don't even yes. care after so a while. So true. You know? We gotta stop thinking too that all people are bad. Yes. Yeah. That's the thing. And I know with a lot of things that's happening in the news, mm -hmm. everybody's got these, you know, notions. And yes, there are some bad people, that, but there's some really good and sweet yes. people. Yes. In yes. This, and we have to, I was going in positive. Acknowledge those too. Yes. Yes. Acknowledge the good folks. You know what I really love is what, where I grew up in San Jose, I was surrounded, I, my neighbors were Hispanic and African American. And they, and I was the only Vietnamese American family, Vietnamese American family in our block, and they invited us into their culture. Mm -hmm. So for when I turned 15, they gave me my first quinceanera dress. Well, I learned how to make cool. tamales. <laughs> I had braids. I couldn't wear them very long, but I did. <laughs> but like those things invited me into the culture, and it taught me now to be proud about my culture and yes. share it. Yes. And yes. when you're proud about your yes. culture and you welcome people, yes. like I'll never forget when yes. I first went into Adrian's family party yes. for Valentine's Day, they had the, the music going yes. and they had the food. And when you get invited into someone's culture, guess what? It feels like family no matter what skin color you yes. are. That is so true. Always, always. Even if I was different, like, you know, being Latina, I always actually ended up using my difference as an advantage. I always mm -hmm. said, oh, I'm different. And instead of saying that's a negative thing, I turned it into a positive. And I'm like, oh, I can be the first Latina of daytime television. Yeah. How awesome is that? You know, you can use it to make a pathway for the rest of the people. And I, I just feel so proud of that. And be proud of being an individual. Be proud of being different. You are unique. We are all own unique that. in our own ways. We should own that. Yes. yes. Own it. Sure. But like I said, 
we don't want to negate that there are issues, Absolutely. there are problems. For sure. We're not trying to say that. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, in this situation, change that negative, that feeling that you, mm -hmm. you know, you need to be accepted. Change that to a positive. People try to say I'm fat. I'm not fat. I'm full. That's what I am. <laughs> change the thinking, Chad. So you know, I, I have a question that. for you, Tam. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, your kids are growing up in a whole new generation. Yeah. Yes. Um, different from yours. Yes. Aren't so they beautiful. cute? Look, Look at them. Oh, my gosh. They're so beautiful. <laughs> so and they love each other. So my question to you is how are you going to handle it? How am I going to handle it? This is the reality of the situation. I have two children that different. Yes. Aiden has blonde hair and, and blue, blue eyes. eyes. And Araya has, you know, more melanin in her skin and I love it. And she has beautiful, big brown oh eyes. My. I know that when they get to school, because they're only two years and nine months mm -hmm. apart, that some people are going to question, you know, yeah. like, do you guys have the same, you know, mom? Do you guys have the, you know, same dad, whatever. I'm just going to say, you know what, guys, just again, like what I went through, just focus on what you think about yourself and share a positive perspective mm -hmm. of others in return. Yeah. So that way, yeah. you can be an example, but be a great one at that. Yeah. Don't make it about, you know, nice. uh, skin color. Make it about who you are as a person yeah. right. and how you are contributing positively in this oh, world. Beautiful. That's what matters. Point. It's all how you make a kid think. That could be the coolest thing. Like, we're mixed. Like, how I awesome is that? I love it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe she'll have another baby. We don't know what that baby will look like. Mm -hmm. And that is so awesome. And we're all oh, mixed. Okay. We're just trying to get her to have another yes, baby. Exactly. I would love another baby. You guys, it's not happening. No.